Hello Taurus, welcome to another WLC Weekly Love Connections reading for you for the um, last week of July of 2019 or as and when you click on this video. And um, to all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. Um, quick announcement right here. Um, in the upcoming months, I would be doing um, giving away free personal readings, and I'm gonna do it in such a way that I would pick, I would decide the number of free readings that I could accommodate based on my work schedule. And half of um, the number of free readings I would be choosing or picking from my subscribers here in YouTube, and half of which will be from. Um, my followers in Vimeo. So guys, if you're inclined to follow me in Vimeo, um, my channel is the same, Nomad Soul Warrior, one word, to join the, um, to have that, uh, you know, to join the um, free giveaways. And I'm going to be doing the free giveaways, uh, the giveaways for free readings um, as my way of thanking you guys for um, following my channel for re for watching my videos and I'm hopeful that soon enough I'll get I'm so excited to get to my 10k um, subscribers that's of course with all your support all right so if you're inclined do follow me in Vimeo I would also be um, posting extended versions of my readings and um, well not everything but at least if there's that theme that I would want to talk about, then I would be um, extending it there when it becomes longer. So you could also check those out. All right, so let's proceed. Um, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's going on with your love connections this week? Okay, guys, remember that um, energies could go vice versa, all right? This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Informations with regards to the tarot decks that I use or even about my private readings are in the description box below. So check them out. I've updated it recently due to the fact that there's a lot of you asking what um, my tarot decks are, the names are. Okay, so Taurus, you have the Eight of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Nine of Swords. Your person has the... Ace of Swords, Ten of Wands, Hermit, World and Strength, Two of Cups, and Knight of Wands. Mm -hmm. And Two of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Wow, Four of Wands, Temperance. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords. So there has been an ending into this. Some painful experiences you've had together or had in the recent past, but it has ended. All right. So, um, Taurus, I know you're concentrating on on your work right now, or you are more focused on gearing your uh, financial stability here. And it seems like for you, things are just very mundane. Like every day, everyone or everything around you just looks the same at some point. Right? And for most of you, though, I'm getting that perhaps you made an offer towards somebody to work things out. And likely, that could be the person that you're thinking of right now. And apparently, um, for some of you, um, they did not consider that offer. And that truly brought you into the state of, you're depressed, you're anxious about it. Yeah. And, um, Taurus, your person is pretty much burdened. It could be, he, they could be burdened with what, happened to both of you in the past they could also be generally burdened about other aspects in in life right now okay so that but in a general sense they are burdened they are stressed they could also be picking up responsibilities of other people who are slacking off in their life basically but one good thing about what's happening in their in your person's life right now is they have gotten some um, realizations 
truth and uh, truth in um, mind and heart of what truly is happening, of what is causing this burden, and how this burden means to them, and how would this burden impact them if they are gonna be putting this down? Okay, or letting the burden go. They have now the clarity to see how would this burden or letting go of this burden impact me to the core. They have that realization, clarity in mind and emotions. Yeah. For some of you, I'm also getting, just a few of you, I'm also getting that with that offer that wasn't considered, this could also be um, that the person, the energy is right here, has decided to not take it and um, just put down because it's probably, they're probably feeling that, you know, it's, it's burdensome and there's no better way to proceed with that offer. And now they're just being on their own, trying to do some introspective um, exercise to really try to accept and understand it to the core. Yeah. So that's just for some of you. Um, this person views you as someone who, well, you've completed a cycle with them and um, it could be due to this ending. So this person has finally um, like kind of closed the chapter and this is how they view you too, that you are now closing this chapter and then you're healing. You're in the process of um, building yourself up again. Okay. And, well, honestly, this person too um, feels that deep, that um, deep connection towards you. I just don't know why, if this truly um, resonates with you. I don't know why, if you wanted to work things out with this person and it wasn't um, considered. Maybe they needed time to have more understanding of what has transpired between the two of you. But here, I see that they do feel that um, desire to have that partnership with you, yeah? Or to carry on with this partnership with you. You see how this guy looks at this girl, full of admiration and love. And yeah, probably now there's no decision to, to what has, there seems to be no decision made just yet for this connection. And um, yeah, both of you may be feeling left out in the cold here. And this person is hoping that um, a decision could be made in order to um, address whatever destitute or whatever downtrodden moments you've had this there could also be um, one repercussion to this uh, connection could also be some financial troubles like one consequence of the breakup could also have cost someone here financial troubles and they're just wanting to resolve or make make a decision about this connection. So you're out of this um, situation, the sad, difficult situation right here. Okay? And so for the actions, you've got two twos here, two and two. Person, um, someone will be, will still be in the crossroads. So now you actually have three twos in your reading, Taurus, making a decision, being in a crossroads, making a choice. So you're, you're, you're both, this connection is at that level for this week at least, that a decision needs to be made. So it's going to be like weighing your options, what, weighing the pros and cons of, of this connection while you both um, try to lessen the, the fighting, lessen the arguments. And for some of you, I do feel that you're not even in communication. Six of Swords is like a transition stage from a messy um, circumstance towards um, 
to a place where you have that peace of mind. And during that transition, usually there's no communication. Like there's only one person in the boat and then the person maneuvering it. They don't usually talk. Yeah. So there's that shut off of communication. But in that moment, uh, what's going on in their minds, what, what's going on in your mind is making a decision, being in the crossroads and trying to gauge your options to find out what is the right path to go forward to next, okay? But look, your likely outcome for this is that in time, with patience, once you bring back, end up bringing back harmony and balance back into this connection, you have the soulmate card, which talks about stability and strong foundation for this connection too. But definitely, it has it's paired with patience. Patience is a virtue here. Paired with patience, paired with that desire to work things out, blend things together. If you have two different ingredients, how do you make them work together or, or things like that? And yeah. And this also talks about time. Give it time. But with this um, two cards right here on your spread, Taurus, there's love here, I feel. Okay, let's see what message do we have from the person that you're dealing with. What message do we have for Taurus? So I get more. Some of my viewers requested for more messages, so I'll do the, just that. <laughs> okay. You are special to me, even though I told you otherwise. I care too much about what others think right now. I can't take this anymore. This could very well be the burden that they're talking about. It really was me, not you. I'm still trying to find myself. I don't think I can take your reaction right now. Okay, so if we try to dissect this further, these two cards here talks about how they really feel about you and it strongly sinks into this Two of Cups and the Four of Wands energies we have here. That even if they, you are special to them. You have that special spot in their heart, basically. And for this three, what I'm getting is, I care too much about what others think right now. I'm still trying to find myself. I don't know. I can take care of your reaction right now. This definitely um, works around this um, three twos that you have here. They're, they have a lot of considerations to, to think about in order to choose the right path, okay? And I can't take this anymore. So this is in their deeper um, emotion. These are outer stuff that you see. They need to make plans. They need to make a decision. This is something that they would have told you that you're special to them. But in their heart, deep in their heart, they can't take it anymore. And I feel that that's the burden that you're both, um, that they're experiencing for not being with you. All right, Taurus, I'm going to leave it at that. If this resonates, please leave me comments in the um, description below, description box or the section below for the comments, I mean. And hit like and subscribe. Um, all my informations are also in the description box. I've updated that recently. Don't forget to follow me in Vimeo as well to join the um, free readings um, giveaway in the upcoming months. And um, what else? I think that's all. If this is where we part ways, thank you for stopping by.